you learned anything? The mistletoe is a powerful item. And that's it. That's all I learned. The church has used it for centuries. <laughs> uh, as a tool for guiding lost souls. <laughs> well, that's what it says here anyway. It's now being kept at the Vatican. Now it's so being it's kept inside his chest. Too? Yeah, I suppose so. Hmm. That's bull. It is not bull. Is there some way to fix it? <laughs> well, you've got to do something. I think you're screwed. Some scenes in this game are genuinely funny. I like the butterfly lace on her glove sleeve thing. Some scenes are genuinely not funny. She packs quite a wallop, eh? Yeah. All I could see was stars. That's all? Hey, you mean you saw something else? What did you see? Paradise. You did? Oh, damn, I couldn't see a thing. Paradise, eh? So, what are we gonna do now? Mm -mm, I've run out of ideas. You gotta be kidding me. Thanks to that miserable mistletoe, there's something definitely off about my condition. Your condition? And to top it all off, my body seems to be sending out waves that attract monsters from miles around. Isn't there anything you can do? I have one idea. If this old fart can't do anything for me, I'll go ask an even older fart. What? Who oh, are you calling an old fart? There's this weird old creature I know living in Wales. This guy is really, really, really old. So, this guy knows a lot, eh? He didn't say that. Yep, he's been alive for centuries. Eh, who are you talking about anyway? His name is Roger Bacon. He's kind of creaky and broken down in places, but we can depend on him. R Roger Bacon? You mean that legendary magician? That's the one. I told you about him before, right? Told you I knew him. Yeah, but I thought you were kidding. Well, sure. A great magician like Bacon ought to know about that holy mis mistletoe and about Sapientes Gladio to boot. Well, it's settled then. We're off to Wales. In the UK. Just in case you don't know where Wales is. Uh, hold on, guys. Hmm? If we just go north to... Calais? Calais? The port town, that's where the front line is, so it'll be hard to get a ship there. Uh, then why don't we head a little south to Le Havre? There ought to be private ships still sailing from there. Le Havre, huh? Um, Karen, was it? We don't know what kind of danger we're going to be running into, so you should be heading home now, little lady. Look, I trusted that man, and trusting him got my men killed. I can't go back to my country like this. And even if I could go back, they'd probably just find me and kill me. Does she actually have, like, a change of heart about what she's been doing? Or is it just, is she just looking out for her own self-interest? Because that would be a really interesting arc for a character in this game to have in this setting, but I don't think they ever go there. She's just kind of like, oh, I'm on the good guy side now, and we don't know for what reason that is. You want to come with us then? But you see what kind of shape I'm in. I can't guarantee your life, you know. I hope you don't mind. 
That's from my university days. <laughs> but now he decides to just fight with a puppet. I found it over there. Is it alright if I borrow it? You're welcome to it, my dear. I'm gonna sell it the first chance I get. <laughs> they chased us all the way here? <laughs> sure are stubborn. <laughs> The room sure got a lot bigger. that first one, so I was really confused. <laughs> Man, you're pretty damn good. Why weren't you fighting before? <laughs> Say, I know. If you're this good with swords, Karen, let me give you this. What's this? It's a script written by the very hand of the famous opera composer, Wagner himself. There's a scene in there that could be very helpful to someone who wanted to polish up their sword techniques. With your great reflexes, I thought you might be able to learn a new trick or two from it, so I brought it with me. But you just- you brought it with you? But you just found out that she was really good with a sword. Nebulung Prelude. You have learned Karel Velk. Karen Sword Arts. As Karen acquires the scores of Nebula Lung Opera, she masters more and more sword arts. When she gets a new score, she learns a new sword art or raises the level of an existing one. Wow, this really looks like it's going to be helpful. Thanks, Geppetto. Think nothing of it, but we shouldn't be hanging around relaxing like this. The entrance to the subway should be just up ahead. Let's hurry. What's this? Yeah, uh, yeah. What is that? It is. There's a bunch of like naked. You you know what? You're gonna find out what this is for in a minute. Ooh, yes. Definitely want this. I'm not gonna equip Karen with anything, at least not yet. this out or okay something else in here I think right that's all that's there I guess that's all that there is in the apartment.
damn it. Uh, let me check. Okay, I, yes. You'll also find an item, Mr. Sommelier and Mr. Matador, automatically when it ends. Is this... This might be uh, the director's cut guide or something. All right, so this is just like a circular. This is not one of her best sword arts. Oh, and you can see her underwear there. It's blue. Um, and you can change her underwear later on, just like you could with Alice. She also has a sexy costume. You can change the underwear of any of the girls. Uh, even Anastasia? But I don't think there's any... Oh, no, you can give it to Ge you can give the underwear to Geppetto and it changes Cornelia's underwear. <laughs> I forgot how ridiculous this was. Okay. This isn't the way to the subway. We've got to hurry. Miss Okay. Yeah, it must be director's cut because I just checked the guide and it says that I should have gotten the other card when the cutscene ended, and I didn't. So I guess we get it somewhere else? There's a subway station to our neighborhood now, too. It'll take it downtown. Um. There's just, like, nothing past here, I guess. Whoa! Get out of the way! Controller's going crazy again. Move! Welcome. Well, look who we have here. It's Geppetto. Haven't seen you in a while. You disappeared all of a sudden. When did you get back? Just a little while ago. But I'm caught up in a bit of a situation. I'll have to be leaving Paris again right away. You don't say, but you just got here. You sure haven't changed. Always sticking your nose into things. You've got to start acting your age. Well, when I want your advice, I'll ask. But listen, we want to go to Le Havre. You know any ways to get out of town unnoticed? Hmm, you don't want to attract any attention to yourself, eh? <laughs> hey, I know, you could use a subway tunnel. That way you could go where you want without being seen. Rumor has it there are a few abandoned tunnels, and some of them even reach to the outskirts of Paris. I see, subway tunnels, eh? That's a great idea. But it's just a rumor, right? How are we going to find these tunnels? Hmm, how about we ask somebody that we know? What would know? Like somebody that's worked on the tunnels. Or one of those train freaks that can name every single station. Okay, let's start looking for somebody who knows about that subway then. In that case, why don't you try going to the champs Elysees? <laughs> why? I can't pronounce any of these. 
They're enlarging the subway over there right now. You'll find Dr. Gautier, the design engineer, at a hotel there. The chandelier who? Shit. You know what? I'm just gonna pronounce it chandelier. Champelice, the next station over. I've met Dr. Gautier a couple of times before. He used to come to my theater. Your theater? You mean you used to be famous, Geppetto? You do realize that not everybody who works in theater is famous, right? He quit the stage when his wife died! But his show used to be celebrated all over Paris. Shh, don't tell them that. Anyway, that was all a long time ago. Anyway, we're out to the shop. Let me look up how you pronounce that. Champs-Élysées. I took five years of French. But when it comes to, like, locations... I took five years of French in high school, but when it comes to locations... There's no... There's no consistency with how its the pronunciations are. What? I don't even know you. Why is that? Is that because you're walking up and down? And... Actually, you know what? I think the amount of steps is um, a number that you have to know for a quiz later in the game. I started playing something called the lottery recently. Alright. Yes, the lottery is back. Oh my god! Hold on there. That's a beautiful wolf you have, isn't it? That's not the reaction that most people should have when seeing a wolf walking around in Paris. The reaction that most people would say when seeing a wolf walking around in Paris would be, Ah! There's a wolf walking around in Paris! Better than yours, anyway. What? <laughs> what? what? Why are you suddenly being so mean? Arr, grr, these guys think they're tough, Ernest. Hmm, that sounds like a challenge, Tetsu. Why don't you show them whose fangs are sharper? Arr, why am I getting? What am I getting caught in the middle of here? I don't want to waste energy on a meaningless fight. What do you say, Blanca? Sounds like they're asking for it to me. I'm gonna beat you, then Ernest will be really proud of me. That's a childish reason for a fight. I say no. <laughs> okay. Make sure you win. I mean, you don't need to, but... I don't know. Think of it like the Belgamine fights in um, Final Fantasy X. If you don't win the first fight, then you get caught behind, and you get the reward slower. Something you could also do before these uh, fights is uh, go uh, to uh, your attack amount. And just, like, make it so that you can hit the most. Your, uh, those attack boosts. Shit. Ooh, Coral Laureate. But why? Ernest and I trained a whole bunch and everything. Because you're just a little runt. Ha ha ha, wonderful, wonderful. Your name was Blanca, was it? 
Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Ernest, a humble zoologist. This is for you, Blanca. Stamp card. Aru? What's this miserable looking card? Congratulations, you are now entitled to join the Wolf Bout, a competition to find the world's strongest wolf. Wolf Bout? You battle the wolves you find throughout the world and gather paw print stamps as proof of your victories. Like this? You learn Soul Comet. I'll give you a prize for every three stamps you collect, and when you fill the whole card up with stamps, you'll be the strongest wolf in the world. What do you think, Blanca, old boy? Wouldn't that be cool? The strongest wolf in the world, Blanca. Huh. <laughs> Come ask if you ever have any questions, and good luck to you. I'm sorry, Ernest. Losing like that. Never mind, Tetsu, you're not a real wolf anyway. <laughs> what? I guess there's room for a few improvements, and I'd better get ready before he gets any stronger. This game is really good and really fun. It takes forever to get started. First you g go to Dome Remy. And the, the cutscene starts in, in Dome Remy, and then you go to a point of tower, and then you go back to Dome Remy, and then you uh, go to the forest, and you walk around in the forest for a while, and then you go to Paris, and you go to this place, and you go in the subway tunnels, the subway tunnels, the absolute best level in any video game, uh, only second to the sewer level. Uh, honestly, this game doesn't get really good until you get to Russia. Um, which is, like, halfway through the first disc. Hey, we can take this subway to the... I already forgot how to pronounce that. Oh, these guys. Because every Shadow Hearts game has to be, like, really homophobic. What if these... What if these these guys just talk completely normally? Eek, it's Geppetto. Oh, Jep, we've missed you so much. Oh, we certainly have. You quit the theater so suddenly. We had no idea where you'd run off to, naughty boy. Um, who are these guys? And Yuri's a homophobe, so he's always like, Ugh, whenever he sees gay people. The Measure Metal Brothers. Pierre here's a tailor and Gerard runs an item shop. They're my old theater associates. They used to sell me costumes and supplies to use on the stage. <laughs> to be fair, all gay people do walk like that. I walk like that. It's fabulous to meet you, young man. Yikes! Hey, don't start scaring off my friends. Well, I never. But anyway, now that we've all become such good friends, let me give you a fabulous present. Here you are. Point card. What's this? That? That's a very, very special card. You can use it at any shop at all. If you have one of those, you can build up points whenever you go shopping. Those points really add up. And the more points you collect, the bigger the discount you can get. Isn't that just fabulous? Gee, thanks. Ugh, it's so creepy that you're being nice to me. Anyway, you haven't forgotten the dress I ordered for Cornelia, have you? Teehee, of course I haven't. And what about you, Jep? You haven't forgotten the little item I asked you for, have you? Did you bring it? Of course, let's see. Where did I put it? Ah, uh, yes, this wasn't easy to get a hold of, you know. Jesus Christ. Oh, fabulous. Another one for my ultimate collection. Oh, my little heart be still a stud card. Just for that, I'll now sew you a fabulous dress. Just pick the design you want, alright? What kind of dress should I make? Turn the pages and pick a design you like. No, 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 no. Oh, my controller's freaking out. Damn it. Might need to change the batteries. Okay, so... Dark Beauty. 
Angel of Light. And there's more, but we need to find some other stuff to get more. Uh, and we can only get one dress right now. I don't really like that one. I do like the Fire Dancer one. I like that one, but I actually have plans for that later in the game. When we're on the boat level, we'll, we'll use that, because it'll be funny, because it's boat level. Um... Hmm... Oh, and of course, these are, uh, this gives you a magic attack, uh, that corresponds to the attribute of the dress. I feel like this is, like, the obvious choice, but yeah, okay. I like the rose in the hair. Oh, isn't it just fabulous? I'm sure you must be very pleased and come again anytime now. But only if you have those porn cards. Wow, that's a beautiful dress. That's Pierre's genius for you. His dresses certainly bring out Cornelia's beauty. And not just outer beauty alone. Every time a young lady changes dresses, new possibilities blossom, you know? That is also true. I can vouch for that. Now then, Jep, why don't you get little Cornelia changed? Oh, isn't this just too exciting, people? I agree, it is very exciting. Personal Geppetto. See? And we can change her back into the poor saint one if we want. She still keeps her, um... Well, changing the dress uh, determines the attribute, so now Geppetto is um, weaker to... What's it called? He's weak, weaker to light. Um, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. What, affinity? I really need to change the batteries. Okay, I'm not sure if these are new, but whatever. Graveyard. Personal. What the hell does that mean? Affinity? Whoa. Is that just showing us, like, how close they are to the characters? Why is he suddenly close to... Maybe it has something to do with combos? I want you to make me a dress. just lets us access the equip screen from here. Bye. Ooh. Um. Hmm. Oh, she already got that. Why would you want to buy the officer's saber? Leather belt. I'm get this too. Try for a discount. 10% discount. Exactly the same as it was in the last game. Twenty-five 
25%. I don't need that. I'm gonna reduce all mine by 50%, but I want them to all be, uh, like the same. Ooh. Glass paper. I don't... Three-ply sandpaper has a wide variety of uses? What's the implication here that he's using it as, like, to brush his teeth? And that makes his... And that makes his attack stronger, I guess? I wish I had an automobile. That guy right there, I can't reach him. Physical defense down. Um. Wait, no. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. But I'm not gonna be physical attacking with Geppetto that much. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I go in there. <sighs> There's like nothing. You don't even want to put like a gate here to say that I can't get past. Okay. Why would you taunt me like that? Can we go in there? Why would you taunt me like that? Say, I'm a chef, but I'm not gonna make you any food. Carlos Quest. Crest. Crest. Like, the different changing camera angles makes me think that... There's something... I should be paying attention to. Red Rave. That is... Uh, actually, you know what? I am going to equip Blanca with the cure. Ah! Crest. Because then I can use all his. Welcome, I'm terribly sorry. No! It looks ugly. What was I saying? I keep zoning out. I thought you said the rooms weren't. Is someone in here? He's kind of swishy, but he's talented. What does that mean? He, you know, swishy. Mm. Is there something I can help you with? How have you been, Dr. Gautier? Huh? What? Why, if it isn't old Geppetto of the Varsity Theater? How many years has it been, my friend? What brings you to visit? This was the last thing I expected. I'm very pleased, very pleased. We're looking for a way through the subway tunnels out towards Le Havre, and we thought maybe you could help. Towards Le Havre, you say? Yes. Do you know a way? Hmm, <laughs> let's see. Uh, just give me a minute to think here. 
Uh, 20 years ago, when the nation started building the subway, they poured all of their energy and enthusiasm into it. Uh, they went wild and dug tunnels all over Paris, but they didn't end up using all of them. And if I remember correctly, one of those unused tunnels heads northwest. Wow, is the subway tunnel system really all that big? <laughs> well, Paris is at the forefront of civilization, after all. Uh oh, I just remembered. You go down into Champelizet Station and go right, and that'll bring you to the abandoned tunnel to Le Havre. Go right, eh? You got it. Thank you, Dr. Gautier. You've really been a huge help. Uh, I'm certainly glad to hear it. I've always been an ardent fan of yours, you know, Geppetto. But uh, why do you want to leave Paris by way of the tunnels anyway? Uh, well, I'm ashamed to admit it, but I have a bill collector after me, you see. A very embarrassing business. Oh, I see. Yes, the economy's been so bad since the war started. Things are hard everywhere. Listen, don't you worry about a thing. My right-hand man in the site foreman down at Chandelier Station. I'll send a message down to him to let you into the restricted area. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much, Doctor. Why was this conversation necessary? We could have just gone through the tunnels. We didn't need to be like, oh, there's a guy who can tell you how to do the thing. Why don't you go... I guess this... The game might be very interested in taking us all over Europe. Dr. Gratia sent me the word. Please, go right on through. Thank you, Victor the Foreman. The tunnels are pretty vast. Be careful not to get lost. <laughs> 